I'm back with another Perler B tutorial, keeping right along with my summer theme. Uh, we are going to be doing some swim trunks in this one. And this one, there are some options for you to do. At bare minimum, you need at least two colors to do this because you'll need at least one base color for the trunks and one for the drawstring. But I'm additionally on mine going to add a stripe on the legs of the trunks, which you don't have to do, you can do. You could even do with just the same color you use with the drawstring, or you could bring in a third color. I'm personally going to bring in a third color just because I feel like I'd like to do a little bit more contrast in doing mine. So I'm gonna use the primary colors for mine. I'm gonna do the main color of the trunks in red. I'm gonna do the stripe at the bottom of the pant leg yellow and then the drawstring I'm gonna do blue so but you guys don't even have to do the stripe if you don't want to or if you want to just do two-toned then just use the same color you're going to use for the drawstring whatever you'd like to do whatever your heart desires go for it basically the important here thing here is the shape of the trunks beyond that go nuts with customization but anyway let me go ahead and start here. So I'm gonna get some red beads out. So that's my main color I'm gonna use for this. And we're gonna start off with five beads on one side here. So one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. That's one trunk leg. We're gonna skip this peg. And then we're going to do another five for the other leg. So one, two, three, four, and a five. Now, this is where I'm going to add my stripe. So if you don't want a stripe, just keep going with the color you started with. But if you want to do a stripe, you can do just one row here, or you can do two rows. I'm going to do two. But you guys do whatever you think looks right for your design. So I'm going to get a few yellow beads out. I don't need too many for this. Okay. That's probably more than enough. So I'm just going to go ahead and go one and two and three and four and five. Whoops. Missed. And then the other leg. Just like that, and I'm gonna do one more row for the stripe on mine, because I want a big fat stripe. But if you want a skinny stripe, just do one row for the stripe. I would recommend doing it lower, but again, customize to however you see fit. So, I'm just gonna come right on in here and do this. Okay, and then the other side. Oops, run away bead. I'm going to return back to red. I'm not going to do any more yellow in the whole rest of this design. Now, I'm going to go straight across from point A to point B. Just all the way across, no gap in the middle. So, I'm going to fill all that in. <clears throat> I did not dump these out very well. You can see I'm kind of struggling to pick them up now. Ah, oh, goodness, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Okay. Boop. Just like that. It's a pretty small design, so you'll be able to finish this quick for quick satisfaction. Okay, so there's that row, 
next row, we're going to do exactly the same thing. So, just carry on right like that. The next row up, we're going to do the same thing one more time. So, Bonk. Just get it back in there. Okay. Now, next row, we're going to do four beads in the main color of the trunks. So, one, two, three, oops, and a four. And then, get the color you're doing the drawstring in. You're going to do one bead. This will make sense in just a minute. Going to do one bead in the main color again, one more in the drawstring color, and then four in the main color. So just like that. Two, three, and four. Okay, next row up, do exactly the same thing gonna follow that same pattern here. So one, two, three, four, one, three for me, one in your drawstring color for you, one in red, one in blue. Hopefully I'm not confusing you. Okay. And honestly, I may go back in and swap out the yellow for blue, because I'm not sure how I feel about it now that I see it, but... That is always an option you can do. As long as it's before you decide to iron it, you can always swap them around. But I don't know. I'd like to see how it looks completely done first before changing it. Okay. Next row. We're gonna start the same way. So do four in red, or your main trunk color. So one, two, need a few more beads. Three, oops, that works. Four, and then you're gonna do three in the drawstring color. So one, Two, come here you, three, and then another four in the main trunk color, two, three, four, and then finally you're going to take the drawstring color and go right across the top row in just that color. So for me it's blue. So just go right across like so. Whoop. 
Whoops. Missed. Okay. Maybe you'll leave it. Maybe I'll change it. I don't know. And that's the design. I'm still not sure how I feel about the yellow. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to swap out one leg for the blue and see how it looks and decide which side I like better and then change the other side to match that's not that one. So let's take the yellows out of this side, right? Just like this. We're going to fill it in with blue because I think it's going to look better in blue now that I see it. But in the words of Bob Ross, there's no such things as mistakes, just happy accidents. So, I'm going with that. Okay. Yeah, it already looks more cohesive. I think I am going to switch it to blue. That's alright. Yeah, I'm going to change it to blue. It does look better and a lot more cohesive. So, okay. Bye-bye, yellow. We did not need you in this design. We will use you in something else, though. Don't you worry. Okay. See, this is where these tweezers shine like a rock star for stuff like this. Just pops those beads out like it's nothing without banging into a thing. Now you guys see why I adore these. They're a little fiddly to get used to, but once you get the hang of them, they're so worth it. They are worth every penny of the cost. And they weren't that expensive anyway. Boop. Grabbed exactly the right number, that's always nice. Okay. Whoops. Nope, missed, okay. Yeah, that does look a million times better. Okay, well, we will be back in just a minute after I iron it, and then it'll be all done. And here we have them, the cute little perler bead swim trunks. They are adorable, and I am so glad I swapped out that yellow. It just was not working in my head. It sounded better than it actually looked, so I'm glad that I changed that at the last moment but again you guys totally don't have to even do that stripe if you don't want to I just thought it would look cute with a stripe so anyways that is it for this tutorial so you guys know what to do if you like this video go ahead and give it a like if you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload leave comments down below if you decide to make these let me know where I can see your creations because I'd love to see them and what you end up doing with them Make sure you follow my social media accounts are all listed down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So, anyway, guys, till next time. Bye-bye.